How's it going? Welcome back to Lifetime Angler. So, if you're like me, trot lines, jug lines, you've used bricks, you've used window weights, boat anchors, whatever you can to anchor it down. Today, I'm done with oddball stuff like that. We're going to make some of our own weights, dedicated purpose for trot lines, for jug lines. They're simple, they're cheap, they're easy, get you some concrete, some wire, solo cups, or heck, I even got off-brand cups, something to mix your concrete in, and well, we're gonna make some weights. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead, let's get into how you're actually physically gonna make these weights. So, you'll need some solo cups, concrete, of course, I've already got that mixed up here. This happens to be High strength concrete mix by Quick Creek. The reason I bought it, it's the cheapest there was. I'm not real concerned with which concrete mix you get. This is cheap enough that if they erode and deteriorate over time, throw them out, redo it. Other than that, some sort of metal wire. I'm just using this bailing wire. Uh, metal hangers work great if you got a bunch of them you want to cut up. Again, that's something I had. I'll use Paradox to cut it. Uh, but here's how simple it is. I'm not gonna bore you with how to mix the concrete. If you wanna learn how to mix concrete, don't do it from the guy doing fishing videos on YouTube. But it's mixed up, there's that. Take you a piece of wire, about twice the height of your cup. And we're just gonna put some bends in it. And what this will do, putting these little bends here, is gonna make it to where this won't just pull out of that weight. But then from there, I'll stab it down. And we'll set that one to the side, and that's gonna be good to go. Now, filling these cups, if you need a lighter weight, or if you need a heavier weight, you can do that however you want. You can kinda make it to suit your needs. For me, I'm gonna fill all of these up about there, but that's it, it's really simple. Guys, I'll check back, I'll show you kinda pulling them out of the cup and all of that once they're cured up in a day or so. Other than that, Let's keep rolling. I'm going to get these done. All right, guys. So I went ahead and sped all this up, shortened the clips, but I did want you to see there is a little bit of work that goes into it. It's not just buy it from the store. It is DIY. All in all, I think I was in roughly about 20, 30 minutes doing all of this. Uh, just so happened the sun was setting as I was doing it, and I didn't turn the lights in the shop on, so that's why you see it getting progressively darker there. Don't be too particular. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Just pour your concrete, bend your wire, stab it in. All right, guys. So what you didn't get to see there is we're a couple days later. I've had to let these sit. Show you how I'm getting these out of the cups once they're dry. I'm just taking same wire cutters I had the other day, snipping it, peel it back. Oop, missed the trash can pulling it on out of there so far I've weighed a few of these y'all there we go it's all in the trash can now anyway like I was saying I've weighed a few of these these are coming in anywhere from one pound 12 ounces so one and three quarter pound up to just right over two pounds for what I'm doing that's gonna be great uh, the brick you saw in the intro of the video that's actually a brick I've been using the past couple years or however long now. Uh, I weighed it, it weighs right at three pounds. So I'm not upset with that. Um, I might have to add one, maybe two weights to each of my trot lines to get the same effect that I have with bricks. Jug lines though, these are gonna be completely great. Uh, they're gonna fit down. I use a cooler to carry all my gear. They're gonna fit down in that well. Uh, back to the trot lines, I know I'm bouncing around. They're going to fit in the five gallon bucket that I keep that stuff in real well. But, guys, this is a simple project. I think I paid $5 for 
the concrete mix. Um, what was it? I want to say five bucks for the cups, if that. I'm honestly shooting high there. And uh, bailing wire, heck, I've had that laying around. I don't know. We'll throw another five bucks at it. So we'll say $15. And y'all made 30 weights with it. So 30 weights for $15, that's 50 cents a weight. I can't hardly go buy little egg sinkers for rod and reel fishing for that price. It's a wonderful deal. Now, the way these will work, obviously that loop, I'm just going to clip it on to either a swivel or directly tie to it, depending on how the setup is. Um, all my jug lines, if y'all have seen that and how I do those, I've got a little snap swivel at the bottom for my weight, and I'll just snap that swivel on there. I think these are going to do wonderful. Uh, if you're curious to see how they do, y'all hang around the channel. Me and buddy do have a trot line trip planned. We try to go once or twice a year. That's going to be coming up at the end of March, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I do plan to get plenty of footage and have at least one video go up from that trip. Uh, hopefully a few more, because I'm hoping while we're waiting on the trot lines we can get into some crappie or some sand bass. Who knows, maybe a little largemouth fishing, but it's going to be a blast there. Y'all, until next time, y'all stay safe, tight lines, and thanks for watching.